Hey team, the reason for this project is because of my new Govi lamp that I wanted to have behind my guitar. My guitar here was placed right here, right on this corner. And unfortunately, because this bass is so fat, my guitar just doesn't have the room that it needs in order to sit against this corner. Alexa, turn on guitar. So what I'm gonna do, and since I ordered the silver piece, is I'm gonna move this silver piece over to this side where my window light used to be. And then I'm gonna take this black uh, window light, the black corner window light, and I'm gonna put that right here because I have intentions on painting just this wall here. I was gonna paint it black, just for a little contrast here in the room. So the silver is gonna match up better with my uh, off-white paint and it's gonna hide better than this black does. And yeah, so that's the reason for this project. So let's just jump right into it. Hey team, so the first thing that you are gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and get your lamp laid down, but you're gonna to wanna to probably put the silicone side up because the very tip of it is gonna hit the ground and you don't want that silicone to touch your floor because it's gonna pick up dust and dirt. The next thing that you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to take off the rubber feet. This is what the rubber feet looked like when it was on. So that's what you'll see. And then I just used my fingernail and I took off the rubber feet. This is gonna allow me to access the six screws that are at the base. So let's get those six screws taken off now. So once we get this base removed here, this is what it looked like on the bottom as you guys remember, this is the next thing that you're gonna see. And this base, it did come off very, very easily. Once I removed the screws, I just used a fingernail right here and I popped the plastic piece off. Ironically, the screwdriver that comes with the Gobi lamp works uh, just fine on the six screws. Next thing that we wanna do is you're gonna see this silver plate here and the same thing happens, you just put your finger in there because uh, this is how it sits. It rests in there, about like that. So you just put your finger in here, pry down and out. The next thing that we need to do is we need to remove this screw here, that screw there, the wire. Very simply, we'll just slide right out, just like that. And you're going to want to make sure that you've got this thing removed from the trim piece. So guys, I've got a 17 millimeter wrench. I brought a couple of them. And it's not that difficult to get in there. Ideally, you would have wanted a wrench that's got a head that pivots. So we have got that nut off, 17 millimeters, and then above that nut was a washer. And this is what it looks like underneath that plastic piece. The plastic piece is removed from the, I guess this is the second base, because <laughs> I would assume that this is the first base. So we've got that base removed off this top base, and this top base has a washer right here. Difficult to do with one hand. So I've got some, I've got some thinking to do where I would like, there we go, got that washer off. I would like to uh, possibly keep this lower portion that I'm wiggling up and down. I'd like to keep that because it does a good job of hiding the wires, right? Plus that's okay having this little bit of base down here, this little secondary top base, because it's going to be hidden behind my guitar anyway. So that's not too big of a concern is I will Dremel right down this line here and I will cut this thing in half and that way I can still save everything including the base plate and uh, the washers and what have you uh, because these washers they'll just sit up here I'll have that one sitting there I'll have this next washer sitting against that washer and then I'll just screw the washers down onto the threads of here and everything is just gonna be um, nice and tight that way this piece won't be able to slide up and down. But that being said, I'll cut this thing in half. That way in the future, if I ever move or I want to change this light's position someplace else and I do want the base, I'll still be able to keep the base. So let's go ahead and cut this thing in half now. So guys, there we go. I did not have to cut it in half. I was able to bend this section here in order to get the light strip out. So we're pretty much done. I'm just going to put these washers back up here, get this nut tightened down, connect everything up, I want to make a quick note that this nut is as tight as I can get it. And yeah, this is the, uh, this is the aftermath of everything being cut. Again, this may not be a project for you. I'm okay with this looking the way that this looks because if I ever do need to use this base again, it's always going to be behind something. You know, I, I keep it behind the wheel or uh, over here, it's going to be behind the guitar. All of my lamps, I hide behind something typically, you know, or I put a plant next to it or something like that. So this is why I'm not too concerned about this plate being cut like this. 
So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below of everything that I've used in order to uh, get this project going. So if you guys wanna support the channel, please click the links down below. If you